Have you ever wondered how to dramatically improve your relationships in the modern world? Welcome to Reflective Rise, your window to timeless wisdom. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for all future wisdom bits. Stoicism, a philosophical tradition born in the bustling city of Athens over 2,000 years ago, might hold the answers you seek. Stoicism is not just a set of abstract ideas. It's a practical toolkit for navigating life's ups and downs, and it's as relevant today as it was in the times of Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. In our fast-paced, hyper-connected world, personal relationships can sometimes feel like a minefield, but Stoicism offers a compass, guiding us toward healthier and more fulfilling interactions. It teaches us to embrace acceptance, objectivity, the concept of impermanence, and the power of self-control. Principles that can transform our relationships from sources of stress into sources of strength and joy. So let's dive into the world of Stoicism and discover the principles that can make our relationships healthier and more fulfilling. The first Stoic principle we will explore is acceptance. In the realm of Stoicism, acceptance is a cornerstone. It's a philosophy that beckons us to embrace reality as it is, not as we wish it to be. It encourages us to understand and accept that we cannot control other people's actions, behaviours or feelings. All we can control are our own actions and reactions. Imagine you are in the midst of a disagreement with a loved one. The heat of the argument escalates and you find yourself wishing they would just see things from your perspective, conform to your expectations. But let's pause and consider the stoic approach to this situation. Instead of trying to mould their understanding to match yours, you simply accept their viewpoint as it is. You acknowledge the difference without trying to change it. This doesn't mean you have to agree with it, but merely accept it exists. This simple shift in mindset can de-escalate a heated conversation and open up a path to understanding and compromise. Let's take another scenario. Perhaps you have a friend who's perpetually late. This habit of theirs may have led to frustration or arguments in the past. But what if, instead of expecting them to change, you accepted this as part of their nature? Acceptance in this case might mean adjusting your own expectations, perhaps planning for the lateness, or using that time in a way that benefits you. This is not about condoning or encouraging negative behaviours, but about understanding the limits of your control and choosing peace over conflict. Acceptance doesn't mean becoming a doormat or passively accepting harmful behaviour. It's about recognising the boundaries of our control and fostering a mindset that cultivates peace. It's about understanding that each individual has their own journey, their own perspective and their own set of behaviours. In Stoicism, acceptance is a tool to navigate the complexities of human relationships. It's an antidote to the stress, disappointment and frustration that often stem from unmet expectations and attempts to control the uncontrollable. By accepting others as they are, we eliminate unnecessary conflicts and promote harmony in our relationships. Scene script. Next, let's delve into the Stoic principle of objectivity. Objectivity plays a pivotal role in the Stoic philosophy. To the Stoics, objectivity meant viewing the world as it is, free from the lens of personal biases and emotions. Now you may wonder, how does this principle apply to our relationships? Imagine you're in a heated argument with a loved one. The situation is tense, words are flying, emotions are running high. It's easy to get swept up in the storm of feelings, isn't it? However, the Stoic approach encourages us to step back to view the situation objectively. By doing so, we can separate our emotional reactions from the actual event. It's like watching a play from the audience rather than being an actor on the stage. This does not mean Stoicism promotes emotional detachment or indifference. Rather, it advocates for understanding the situation in its purest form, devoid of our emotional interpretations. When we strip away our subjective biases, we can see things more clearly. In the context of relationships, this objective view can be a powerful tool. It can help us understand the other person's perspective, their motivations and their feelings. It allows us to empathise with them even when we disagree with their actions or decisions. Furthermore, objectivity can aid in conflict resolution. By viewing a disagreement objectively, we can better understand the root cause of the conflict. 
we can then address this issue rather than getting caught up in a whirlwind of blame and defensiveness. In addition, objectivity can help us make better decisions in our relationships. When we're not clouded by our emotions, we can think more clearly and rationally. We can make decisions that are in the best interest of the relationship, rather than decisions driven by momentary feelings or reactions. So objectivity in Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions. It's about understanding the world and our relationships as they are. It's about making decisions based on rational thought rather than emotional impulses. By practicing objectivity, we steer clear of emotional turmoil and make rational decisions leading to stronger relationships. The third Stoic principle to consider is impermanence. This principle is deeply rooted in the understanding that nothing in life is permanent, that everything is in a constant state of flux. This applies to our relationships as much as it does to everything else in our lives. When we talk about impermanence in Stoicism, we're not just referring to the end of life or the end of a relationship. We're talking about the ongoing everyday changes that occur within each of us and between us. Our thoughts, feelings and behaviours are in a constant state of flux, as are those of the people we're in relationships with. Think about it. The person you fell in love with years ago is not the same person today. They've changed, evolved, and so have you. This is the nature of life, and this is the nature of relationships. They are dynamic, not static. They are a journey, not a destination. Now, you might be wondering, how can understanding and accepting impermanence help in managing expectations and coping with changes in relationships? Well, when we grasp the concept of impermanence, we let go of the unrealistic expectation that things should always stay the same. We understand that change is not only inevitable, but also natural and necessary for growth. This acceptance allows us to adapt to changes more gracefully. It helps us to stay flexible and open-minded rather than rigid and resistant. It encourages us to appreciate the present moment, knowing that it is temporary and unique. Moreover, it helps us to cope with the end of relationships. Whether through a breakup, a falling out or even death, all relationships eventually come to an end. By accepting this fact, we can grieve healthily, let go and move forward. Impermanence does not make our relationships less meaningful. On the contrary, it makes them more so. Because we know that every moment is fleeting, we learn to value it more. We learn to cherish the time we have with our loved ones, to express our feelings openly and honestly, and to make the most of every interaction. By accepting impermanence, we learn to value every moment and deal with change in a healthy way, thus enriching our relationships. The final Stoic principle we will examine is self-control. Self-control, or the art of mastering one's emotions and reactions, is a fundamental tenet of Stoicism. It's about having the discipline to respond rather than react, to think before speaking and to manage our emotions instead of letting them manage us. It is not about suppressing emotions or becoming robotic, rather it's about understanding our emotions, why they arise and how we can handle them constructively. In the context of relationships, self-control plays a pivotal role. We've all been in situations where a heated argument escalates due to unchecked emotions. We say things we don't mean, causing unnecessary pain and suffering. Having self-control means being able to take a step back in these situations, to breathe, to think, and then to speak or act. Imagine a scenario where your partner forgets an important date, maybe your anniversary. The immediate reaction might be anger or disappointment. But what if instead you took a moment to control that initial emotional response? What if you chose to see the situation objectively, understanding that people make mistakes, and instead of lashing out, you communicated your feelings calmly? That's self-control in action. The Stoics believed that we cannot control external events. We can only control our reactions to them. This principle applies perfectly to relationships. We cannot control what our partner does or says, but we can control how we react to it. By exercising self-control, we choose understanding over anger, communication over conflict, and love over resentment. But remember, self-control, like any skill, takes practice. It's a muscle that needs to be flexed and strengthened over time. Start small. The next time you feel a rush of anger, take a deep breath, pause, think, then respond. 
You'll be surprised how this simple act can transform not only your relationships, but your overall quality of life. By exercising self-control, we maintain our composure and resolve issues effectively, thereby fostering healthier relationships. To sum up, the principles of Stoicism can indeed transform our relationships. It begins with acceptance, understanding that we cannot control others, only our reactions to them. This acceptance paves the way for healthier relationships as we learn to embrace others for who they are, not who we want them to be. Next comes objectivity, viewing situations from a detached perspective. This allows us to respond rather than react, maintaining harmony even in difficult interactions. Then we have impermanence, the understanding that all things change and evolve. This principle reminds us to appreciate our relationships as they are now, instead of longing for what they once were or could be. Finally, we have self-control, the ability to choose our actions and reactions. By exercising self-control, we can avoid unnecessary conflicts, fostering understanding and respect in our relationships. By embracing stoicism, we can enhance our relationships and lead a more content and peaceful life. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to stay connected with us for all future updates.